The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're looking at the crude oil chart. This is an hourly chart, as you can see. Uh, we sent this out in the video long before the market got there, of course. We were looking for 79.60. The high was uh, 79.62. If you were able to get that off, then your stop would certainly be at break even. We're trading at 78.72 right now. We've been as low as 7,800. And it bounced from there all the way up to 7880. Uh, so it's still in a bullish trend. It hasn't really broken anything. If we looked at this just from the low that we made here the other day on the 26th, and here we are on the 28th, you'll see that the 382 came in spot on right there. There was your 382. So if we start getting below this, if we start getting below that, then that will tell us that, yes, this is a possible top up in here and we're getting ready to go. But if you're in this, you would have your stop at least at break even or maybe lock in $200 because if it gets back above this 79.35 level, it's probably going to go higher. So I would put a stop at 79.35. That would lock in at least $200 if, in fact, it does uh, start to move to the downside. So that's what we're looking at. Now, we were sending out a video this morning about the relationship, and, and Mike Moore will cover this, folks. It might, we had Mike on the show about 10 days ago, and he said, look for a false breakout above 79 in the uh, crude oil. And by golly, that's exactly what happened today, and that's why we have him on the air today. Let's take a quick look here uh, at, the, uh, at the two things I want to watch is the heating oil and also the gasoline. First, we're going to do the gasoline because it's been the strongest. This is the April contract. And as you can see here today, we mentioned – you can see here we were right up to the 78% level. Now, we went back and we tested that. We took this out by one tick. And look what's happened. We've broken all the way down. Now, we've come down to some major support right in here. But the fact that this was the weakest of the group, uh, well, actually, the heating oil was by far the weakest. But you can see here we're making a new high, A, B, C, D here in the crude oil up in this level. We can only make the 78% level in the gasoline. And if we take a look. This is something that we have to ask uh, Mike. He knows this stuff far, far better than I do. But if you look at the heating oil contract, which will be right here, it's the weakest. And look at this. This thing has no – I mean, look at this. We almost make the exact 382 here yesterday. We missed it by what? Uh, what about – <laughs> half a heartbeat or whatever it is. We have another one right here, and the market just keeps going lower. This is the weakest. Now, yesterday we thought that the, the, Drex, uh, the, the Russell was going to be the weakest, and it wasn't. So it doesn't work every time that way, but you want to try to sell the weakest and buy the strongest. As you can see, we're, we're coming down sharply. There's your 382 off of this move right here. Boy, if that's not bearish, I don't know what is, but, you know, who knows what's going to happen from here. Anyway, the gasoline and heating oil are leading the way down. We'll ask Mike those questions, but he alerted us to this fact that this was uh, both in the gasoline, also in the uh, – in the uh, it's mainly in the crude oil, above $79. I remember it very vividly because we were looking at that pattern, and they went to 79.60, and so far it's given up the ghost. Not by much, but it's given up – a little bit. Okay, now we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to get rid of this. Now we want to get to the ones that we're also watching here. We also said in our video that we want to be watching the S&P for several reasons today, and that was this one right here. And that is the fact that we had what we call a perfect ABCD pattern right here. There was a new low. Then we have the ABCD pattern coming in right here at 5086. Now this doesn't count the other days when we had higher highs. So we need to go to the hourly chart to see if this is, in fact, a very good number. So all we're going to do now is we're going to go back to this level right here. Remember, these markets are very dynamic. So you go from your high down to your low. And guess what's right up there at 5086, boys and girls? You can't make this up. 
So if you sold it there, you got your stop at break even, you say a prayer and maybe you get lucky, who knows? Anyway, that's what we're looking at here today uh, in the stock market with the S&P. Now we've done the same thing with the Dow Jones. We've already gone through that in the video. We don't want to you know, waste your time you know, looking at anything like that. But we do want to look at uh, the December corn because December corn uh, has made some type of a major bottom here. Now this is the hourly chart. You notice here we had a A, B, C, D to the downside right here. Uh, the, we, we, we were not expecting this because I wasn't looking for it. I was looking for it to get to 440, we got to 445. We have not backed off at all here. What we're waiting for is to buy a 382 retracement off of this low right here. Now we're up now. This is the third day in a row of the rally. So now 573 is going to be your 382 retracement. So keep a close eye on that, folks. The reason why, I hope I still have that. I think I tried to put that up here on the uh, – nope, I wasn't able to get it up here. But I wanted to show you uh, one other thing here. Since we're on this page, I want to bring it up right here. This is Bitcoin where we are right now. Now, I, I know you like – some people like ABCDs. This is a, uh, you know, a really good, uh, really good price here to watch these things. But there's your ABCD measures right up here to uh, uh, 62,000. I think that was the high. I don't know where it's been since then. But look at the time frames, folks. The time frames are almost exactly equal. So I don't know if it means anything or not. But we're way above the 78% level. Would I be shorting there? Hey, I short any A, B, C, D. They don't ever, they don't scare me because uh, I know they're going to work most of the time. Here's one that didn't work. Look, you got an A, B, C, D. It goes quite a bit below, rallies up to three rate two, and then lower, lower. There's your three eight two right to the bottom. Drive one, drive two, drive three. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. That's all I know, folks. And you know what? I don't really care. I'm proud of it. I've been able to teach a few people how to do this stuff. Doesn't work all the time, but you know what, boys and girls? There ain't nothing out there that works every time. Forget about that. Now, here is the NAS, uh, the uh, one that's been going crazy. This is a German stock market. Now, we have been a little bit higher than this D point, and then we've started to back off a little bit. But the major ABCD comes in here today, and I don't know if it's going to mean anything or not, but, you know, who knows? It's the 28th of February. Tomorrow is leap year. I only know two people in my whole life that were born on February the 29th. One has since passed away. One is still living. I think she's 16 years old right now, a little bit older than that, times four, which makes, what, 68 or something. <laughs> anyway, let's move on here to a couple others that we're looking at here to uh, see what's going on here. Let's move on here to the uh, – we've got the S&P here. We're trading here at uh, 77, 75. Not too much going on right there. Let's move on to the next one that we have to watch, which is the uh, wheat. Okay, here's wheat. Now, we thought that wheat could back off just a, one more time, and we thought it would get down to this level right in here. The reason why I thought that was the fact that this was a 78% level, and then you come down and you make a lower hold. Now you have higher bottoms, okay? This tells us that this might be it for the wheat. So this is the place where you wanted to be looking to be the buyer of wheat, right there, 575. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Investors.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm just showing you the charts that I'm looking at uh, for today. Just went through the wheat market. Uh, we've been through the stock market. Uh, we have some uh, have a nice little rally going now from this little low that we made here about an hour ago in the S&P. We're trading at around 5081. Strong resistance up here at 5086 is what I would be looking at. In fact, if that um, fulfills the objective. Now, the one that didn't act the way we thought it was going to do was the gold market. And I want to bring this up to your attention right here. You see, we had a really good pattern to come down to this level here. We only got to 34. It should have got to 31. And of course, it went back up. Now, once it went above our sell signal, which was there, you had to be a break even no matter what happens. And then after the break even, you see we backed off just a little bit. Let's just blow it up so we can see how we can figure out what's really happening with this market. Because you see, we went way up, way above the 78% level. We hit it pretty much exactly. Then we backed off. This tells us that this market has probably not stopped going up. So the only thing I can think of is that we're going to have a potential. See, this does not make sense anymore from the ABCD standpoint because we went up and went above that 78% level. That tells us we're probably going to go higher. And the reason why I say that, we're out of this at break even, but there's your ABCD leg right here. That's going to take it back up to that magical level up there, 2053, taking out these highs. Okay, all that would mean is that you're just completing the larger A. Let's just get this in here correctly. You know, maybe I do too much ABCD. I get it. It's on my mind all the time, but it's what brought me to the promised land, darling. And ain't no way I'm going to forget this one. That would take us here to 7061. And what is that, boys and girls? Right there. Oh, oh, let's draw this in the way we can see it the right way. There's your 1.618 expansion would be up into this level. That's probably not going to happen today, but that's only $18 away, and it could certainly do that. So right now we're basically flat. We sold it here, had a little bit of a profit. We were trying to cover here. We didn't get it covered. Ended up breaking even. Now we're waiting to see what unfolds here with the next set of uh, things that are happening. Remember, folks, that our guest today will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to have either Bill Meridian or Stan Harley, depending upon the availability. And then on Friday, we're trying to get Joe the Wizard DiNapoli out of Sarasota, Florida to help us. But 
So far, he's been very, very busy, unable to help us, but maybe next week will be also Bart DeLeone, James Bart DeLeone from Bart's Charts will be giving us a spot to take a look at some of these other things that we're watching here uh, right now. So that's what we're looking at, the gold. I haven't looked at silver recently. Someone's just asked that question, so we're going to take a look at silver. Here's the hourly chart in silver. Okay, here's a nice picture of it. I haven't looked at silver, so I don't really know what's been happening. We've been coming down, of course, lower highs all the time. This is a bearish pattern, folks. Got lower highs all the way through here. Even today, look at this high right here. If you like 382s, just go from your last high down to your low. There's your 382 right in here. Goes a little bit above it and then back down. Just about a near perfect ABCD here, which would have been a sell right up against that line right here. It didn't quite make that by quite a bit. It missed it well. It missed it by 72. Missed it by about eight cents. So this is the downtrend in silver. If we get above here, we got a chance for a pretty good rally. Remember, we've been coming down for quite a while now. Just look at this. You see, we've been coming down since the 16th of February. And let's just see where our support came in on the silver. That came in right uh, a little between the 618 and 786. So we're getting ready to try to, you know, challenge this. So, uh-oh, we've got a caller coming in. Hold on just a second here. We got John from Philly, Mr. Crude Oil himself. JC, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing very well, Mr. Pesavento. Larry, how are you today? Living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass, as always. Just li living that dream, absolutely right. <laughs> Say, uh, you have got um, uh, Mike Moore coming up uh, imminently. I'm going to keep yes. this call brief. But when you mention plenty Bill, of time. I just want to share with you and to your audience how valuable I have found over the years Bill Meridian's work. Most recently, Larry, um, somewhere back in the summer, Bill was on your show and shared this. Oh, my, um, my cycles and yes, my cycles, uh, short and long term suggest oil likely is in a strong decline mode in the fall, so from October 1st into December. Well, lo and behold, that is exactly what the crude oil market did. And then, of course, it bottomed just down near $68 a barrel back in uh, mid-December, I think it was, mm -hmm. and it's been moving irregularly higher since. And I just want to share with you, for me, that was invaluable because that allowed me the confidence to hold core longs and doing scalp buyings. Uh, it hasn't rocketed, that's for sure, but it hasn't been going down. It's been going choppy higher, and I've made good profits uh, these past eight, nine, ten weeks. And I just want to tell you, Bill Meridian's work was pivotal uh, to getting my head on straight regarding that. So I thank you for having him on and look forward to hearing him when he's on next. I'll do my best to have him on this week, if not this week, early next week. Uh, Bill's been a very good friend of mine for well over 40 years. Uh, long to, long story about that is, well, it doesn't make any difference. You've heard the story that the little hospital <laughs> that I was born in Clinton, Indiana, burned down. So they didn't know the exact time of my birth. So I had uh, Bill Meridian and uh, our good friend over in uh, – Chicago, uh, Victoria Martin, they rectified my chart. All the things that have happened to me, the see that I was born at 11.55 p.m. on July 28th. And by golly, they both came out within one minute of the exact time. And my aunt, who was uh, the only living relative that I had left, uh, that was there when the hospital burned down, she said, all I know is, she said, you were born really late at night. She said, it wasn't quite midnight. Well, I was six minutes off. But uh, they rectified <laughs> that. And they're, they're so good at what they do. It just it just it, it scares me. And, you know, Bill, uh, John, I, I have a you know, being a Catholic, uh, you know, background and stuff. I had a really hard time learning this stuff back in 86, 87 with Dr. Miller, because, you know, I had always been taught in, you know, Catholic school that if you did astrology, man, you were doing the work of the devil. 
You know, and I said, wow, I might be doing the work of the devil, JC, but not the way they think. <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, you, that's, you might I got be, away but it is that. profitable, so and yeah. you're not hurting anybody, so that's a good thing. Uh, I try not to, but you never know. Sometimes you sometimes you run into a situation where you don't have any control over, so I hope that Indeed. helps. Well, hey, listen, uh, th thanks in advance for having uh, Mike on. We'll look forward to that conversation. Thanks for calling in, JC. Appreciate it. John Chevney, folks. Go to the Tiger Den. Listen to him every day. He really posts some great charts, and that's what we're here for, is to try to give you some good ideas. We've got a guest coming up here in about 31 seconds. And, uh, well, there, here comes the, the bell is ringing, so he'll be up. Mike Moore of More Analytics. So stay with us, folks. We'll be right with you. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics as our guest today. Can you tell us what you're looking at, Mike? Larry, how are you? What would you like me to start off with, crude? Uh, I think we'll start off with crude, followed by gasoline, and then also by uh, heating oil. All right, sounds good. So crude oil is in a critical spot right here. Well, actually, let me just go back for a second for, to the daily. You know, we had this full bearish structure here, followed by a bullish structure, and I think that we're in the last phase of this right here. 
meaning it could start a bearish correction or trend from here, just or from one of these levels up here. Give me a second. I've got the wrong chart up there for a second. Um, and right now it's bearish. We've broken above a bullish formation here and another one here, uh, but just failed back down through this formation. So I'm bearish now, expecting this to come off. This is a huge signal right here, other than the fact that of where it's starting from, being just above this last peak and heading down in here. If we start to fail these other lines in here, I think this thing could start to come off. Obviously, if we take out the high here, that whole scenario would be negated. And we've been yeah. bullish since, oh, sorry, that chart go up. The bullish since the uh, trade above. 7257, which are brought in 635 and a little bit more today. And then the trade above 7790. And if you, if you recall, been watching the show over the past number of weeks, we got bullish right in here. And I said this was probably going to rally for days slash weeks. So we've gotten a couple of weeks run out of this right now. Now that bias has just changed right here. So I think that this is a low risk, high reward opportunity to short the market right here with a decent stop right back above this line, which is going to come in at 78.76, move up very slightly overnight, uh, maybe only a tick or two. I remember when you were on yeah. 10 days ago, you said we were probably gonna have a false breakout above 7,900 and so far that's what's happened today. Yeah, so. You want to take a quick look at heating oil? Is that what you said? Yes, sir. I would like to see what I have. The question I have is, how yeah. can heating oil be so doggone weak compared to crude oil? And then even gasoline is weak compared to crude oil. Why is it that the crude is lead, leading? Why why aren't they catching up? I mean, these these uh, look look at these look at these prices. I mean, they're really really weak compared to crude oil. How do you explain that, Mike? Or do you have to? <laughs> I don't. Okay, I don't good. try to. I, I, don't, I don't try to spend my time figuring out why things should be one way and they're not. That's why I like the technicals because the technicals Amen. tell me what I need to know to be on the right side of the market. Ten, ten four. Cop, copy that. You know, just just as a point in case, I got bearish the the RBOB to heat spread right before COVID hit and started shutting down all the airports. But nobody knew that that was going to happen at the time, and being short that spread was absolutely ridiculous for that time of year and uh it just cratered for 25 handles over the next uh, couple of days but you only found out the news three days later so anyway heating oil is bearish now we've broken below this uh this formation below here which also adds to the bearishness of the crude because this is the one that's really leading the downside and like in my podcast i talk about my i do a podcast every evening about what's happening in the RBOB heat spread. This is broken back above this formation here. We've been bullish for a while, got bearish right in here, and now it's bullish again, which means that the RBOB is strong relative to the heat or the heat weak relative to the RBOB. So the heat is really the one you want to be short on the downside right now. And this heat crack has been bearish here, also broke below a new formation right there uh, yesterday and is really coming off, leaving a gap open lower today, likely. And then in the gas crack is also bearish now, rolled over, took out this low, which I said to be short below. So either the heat or the gas are the ones you want to be short. They'll be leading this charge to the downside, but the heat most likely will be uh, the main one leading the, the press to the downside. Get any questions okay. before you want me to go to natural gas? No, no, or? no. Let, let's go on to natural gas, please. That's uh, natural very gas popular. Was bullish, uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, just on an overall basis, and a reminder, we've been bearish from $8.20.8. We saw $6.68.6 .6 to the downside. We had a lot of other bearish formations in here. All that stuff is on hold. So the trade above 170.90 projects us upward at 160 ticks minimum. We attained 168 ticks of that. We also left a moderate bullish reversal below here. And this was the line that we broke above, popped above here, chopped sideways and broke above this formation right, right here. I did not suggest getting along above this. I didn't think it was well-formed enough, but uh, it's going anyway. Uh, if it fails back down through there, probably see uh, decent pressure come in. 
and that line is going to come in at 179.50 minus 0.7 of a tick per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If we break below that lower line there, which comes in at 173.50 plus 0.8 of it and a tick per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m., that will project this downward at least 140 ticks. And finally, let me just show you one other thing here. If we leave a maintain gap, this already looks like we may leave a maintain gap higher today. If we leave that maintain gap higher today, that'll leave a moderate bullish reversal below that will likely bring in strength for days slash weeks. That would be negated if we started to trade back down below 183.80 today. Okay, that makes sense. You want me to jump to financials or anybody have any yeah, questions? Let's, on no, we're, we're good. Let's go to the financials. Fire away. Yeah. Okay, the S&P, obviously, you know from being, if you've been watching the show, been bullish for a while in here, um, really since 3502. And we've bounced 1,621.5. A lot of other bullish formations in here. I did say that we're, I think we're likely in the upper stretches of this uh, bull structure with uh, possible areas of macro exhaustion at 5091.25 to 51.65 and a quarter and 52.54.75 and higher. So we've traded up into this, I don't know if you can see this or this is, this, this main red square here, this is mm -hmm. considered an exhaustion level. We traded right up in there, started rejecting out of it a bit, out of it a bit. We're still chopping sideways here. Um, so I'm still bullish in general, and we're holding this line right here. If this gap's open lower one day, tomorrow or the next day, we're going to leave a moderate term bearish reversal above that could bring in pressure for days slash weeks. But the key thing is, even though it wouldn't necessarily be a large formation, that would be in a very ideal situation. Ide ideally placed um, area in the market for this to really come off. And if we do start a full-fledged bullish bearish correction, that bearish correction should exceed 512. Okay, we're going to pay a few bills. We'll be right back with Mike Moore of More Analytics, folks. Stay tuned, please. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. Speaking with Mike Moore, more analytics. Let's continue on, my friend. Sure. Keep up the uh, good work. By the way, Larry, I just wanted to highlight the uh, number I had here before for the auto trade programs was incorrect. So this is the correct number to contact Bill Orlowski at BTR Futures. It's 847-309-1630. Uh, we do have an auto, pro auto trade program available now. It's uh, showing substantial back-tested profits of over 200% over the past year on a $25,000 minimum account. and But in live trading, uh, we're up close to 40% in two months, which should be in line with that kind of performance. So, anyway. That's very good, Mike. Yeah, go right ahead, please. Okay, so uh, the S&P here, if we break below this formation here, this is one, by the way, let me just back up here. This is the, we had all these bullish formations in here, but most recently I said that the trade above 50, 50 and a quarter projects us upward 77 minimum. We haven't quite attained that, but we've attained 73.25 of it so far. If we were to fail back down through that formation, uh, that would be bearish. That's going to come in at 50. Sorry, let me move this over there. Give you a current time right now. That's going to come in at 50, 41, 59 minus 9 per hour, starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. You want to look at gold? Absolutely. That's on our watch list. Fire away. Okay. Gold's just been consolidating, chopping sideways here a bit the past few days. We had gotten bullish um, down in here and in here. Let me just pull this up here for a second. I warned on 214 that this warns of short covering. We've seen 48.9. From that 2004.30 close, the break above 2009.60 has brought in 43.6. And then the trade above 2017.80 has brought in 35.8 of strength. And then I said decent trade above. Well, actually, it's a higher line. Bear with me a second. Decent trade above 2051.30 to 230 minus 0.7 of a tick per hour. We'll project this higher. That's actually going to come in. Bear with me a second here. Slightly lower. That was as of 5 o'clock uh, a.m., so you just have to decrease that line a bit. Uh, this morning, we just saw um, short, just on a very short term right here, I had said to, uh, if we break below 203.41 and back above, look for short covering. That's that low right here, 203.41. We broke below there, so the nice short covering today. So... I think this is poised if we take out either of these lines to project higher, but there's a key exhaustion level right up in here at 2058.40 to 20.56 that we would have to overcome. If we hold this and roll back over, we could see a bearish correction against this move here. So kind of a tentative situation where you have two bullish formations, but you have that exhaustion right above. Um, but if we were to break above these and fail back down through them, then that would be an ideal short because you'd 
maybe be holding this exhaustion level and be due for a bearish correction at the same time. You want to take a look at Bitcoin or? Absolutely. That's my next one on the list. So please talk to us about the bit. Everybody's got a, a piece of the action except you and me, pal. So tell us your, what you're looking at. <laughs> so the bit, Bitcoin's um, really had a nice run here. We've been bullish since the break back above 16,275 to 60. Uh, we'd seen 45,345 a coin going into today. And then obviously another piece of that. And we have been bullish from this was that formation I was showing you just a couple of weeks ago. Really nice run up out of there. Bullish above here. Bullish above this formation. Bullish above these formations today. Uh, this morning, actually. And I said that if we fail back down. Now, that said, we ran up here and fell back down here pretty hard. It's a pretty hard sell off from the high. So let me just give me a second here. This went up to 64,990. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we came and we pulled right back down to these two formations. If we fail back down through these formations, that's going to warrant a decent pressure. Those formations are going to come in at. The upper one. Bear with me. I got a lot of lines on here. My apologies for my messy. No, no, no. You're doing great. I just, uh, you know, it's amazing. This has been the most successful ETF ever in all, in all the stock exchanges is Bitcoin thing. They're pushing money into that like, uh, like there's no tomorrow. And boy, when I hear that, I say. All I can um, see is yellow. All I can see is caution signs. But, you know, that's a, that's a function of old age, I guess. <laughs> well, hey, at least or, if you're trading these futures, it's advanced a years, not old age, but advanced years. <laughs> so this uh, upper line comes in at 62.36 plus 14 per hour starting at 1 o'clock mm -hmm. p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the lower line is just a little bit below it. That comes in at 59.877 plus 5 per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So it breaks below either of those decently. Um, I expect it would come off, probably come off a good deal too. I mean, that could come off uh, $5,000 a coin. Oh, and a break yeah. Back below these. Kidding, at a blink of an yeah. eye, my friend. <laughs> yeah. But I think just that being said, this kind of run up that this uh, – this real this real spike here and coming off here, this warns that this may come off or we might see some really choppy action in here. So okay. just be careful. But these two lines right here should give you a good place to lean against if we were to break back down below. A good place to lean against is the long if you want to get long against here, but if they break below there decently and just short them and look for this to come off because mm -hmm. uh, last thing I would caution, this is likely in the last stretch of this move up and this is due for a bearish correction at some point. So. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to go back into in the energies or the S&Ps? Uh, no, the, the energy, that pretty much covers it. Did we do natural gas yet? I don't think we did, did we? Uh, yes, we did. Did? Okay. Let's keep going to the next one then. Let, let's go on to the uh, next one that you have on your list. We'll be fine. Well, we pretty S much S and um, One thing I did want to just take a look at, which I don't normally analyze here, but you had asked me about a while back, uh, was the bonds, I believe. Okay. And the bonds, I had said that this break below this major formation in here made them had them bearish, and then below this was bearish, and they've continued to come off. Mm -hmm. Don't really have a. There is sort of a tight trading. Tight trade, this could be the beginning of a bullish direction against these. What's that? And oh, yeah. we held this exhaustion level down here that I'd, I guess I'd drawn on here a while back. Pretty much exactly. So mm -hmm. this could be the beginning of a bullish correction against this move down from the highs. I'm sorry, what would you say there? It looks like it's been in a really tight trading range here for the last four or five days, you know, between 120 and 118. I mean, it's just been bouncing around. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Waiting to make up its mind, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Mike, we got a break coming up here. Tell the folks how they can reach you if they'd like to get a copy of your letter and also talk to you about the auto trading. Just give okay. us some information. Hey, wait, wait till we get to the next break so you have more time, okay? Okay. We're going to pay good. some bills here for TFN. We'll be right back with Mike Moore 
more analytics, folks, so stay tuned. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back, folks, with Mike Moore of More Analytics. Mike, tell the folks how they could reach you the easiest way. Can you see? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't get you see my screen or no? I think we can see it. Yep, it says more analytics right there. M O O R. Okay. Phone number and, uh, is six four six seven zero eight forty six twelve. That's right. And if you want to, if you're interested in the auto trade programs, you can call Bill Orlowski here at eight four seven three zero nine one six three zero. We're we have one system available now, and likely to have another system available within a week or two. Uh, I know it's kind of funny to say this on a show and. You know, sounds like a unicorn or a pipe dream or whatever, but my feeling is that it is absolutely uh, possible to generate three-digit income returns on accounts year in and year out. I know there's a lot of traders that do it. That's my my goal, All right. and I think this first one is far exceeds far exceeds that. And the first two months, it's only two months, but it's promising that it's up about forty percent on a twenty-five thousand dollar account or a multiples of that on a higher account that's just using a, a base figure. Oh. And then we'll have a totally separate system, which is interestingly just about equally as strong based off a whole different set of criteria. 
So we shall see. But just Listen, sort of like your predictions, right? You can go back and look at you can go back and look at previous shows and say where well, you predicted something, right? We're so, like the restaurant business. It only depends on the last meal you serve, buddy. I've been saying that for years. Larry Williams told me when I started doing this in the in the uh, public eye back in what seven seventy six? No, that was after Drexel had been eighty four. He said, "Look," he said, "they don't care whether you went to school. They don't care who your relatives are. They don't care anything about your medical background, your your background of." business, whatever it is, they care about one thing. If you can make them money, you're going to make a couple of bucks. If not, you're in big trouble. So keep up the good work, Mike. We'll have you on again soon. Okay, buddy? It's been a pleasure. Thank you for the honor okay, of being on. I appreciate bet. it. Thank you, pal. You bet. Bye-bye. 